टुडे वी विल डिस्कस आइलेक्ट्रिकल डिवाइस ट्रांसफार्मर ट्रांसफार्मर ओनली वर्क फॉर ए सी एंड इट इज यूज फॉर स्टेपिंग अप और स्टेपिंग डाउन द अल्टरनेटिंग वोल्टेज द डिवाइस बेसिकली द ट्रांसफर द इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी फ्रॉम वन एंड टू अदर एंड द बेसिक प्रिंसिपल ऑफ वर्किंग ऑफ ट्रांसफार्मर इज म्यूचुअल इंडक्शन कंस्ट्रक्शन वाइज द ट्रांसफार्मर कंसिस्ट आ सॉफ्ट आयरन कोर एंड दिस सॉफ्ट आयरन कोर इज लेमिनेटेड लेमिनेटेड सॉफ्ट आयरन कोर ऑन दिस सॉफ्ट आयरन कोर वी हैव द टू वाइंडिंग द फर्स्ट वाइंडिंग इज टर्म एज प्राइमरी क्वाइल और सेकेंड वाइंडिंग टर्म एज सेकेंडरी क्वाइल द प्राइमरी क्वाइल ऑलवेज कनेक्टेड विथ ए सी मेन्स एंड द सेकेंडरी क्वाइल विद द लो रजिस्टेंस वेयर वी नीड आइदर स्टेप अप और स्टेप डाउन अल्टरनेटिंग वोल्टेज वर्किंग वाइज वेन द अल्टरनेटिंग करेंट फ्लोइंग इन द प्राइमरी क्वाइल द मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स जनरेटेड एंड दिस मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स इज कपल्ड विद द सेकेंडरी क्वाइल विद द सपोर्ट ऑफ लेमिनेटेड सॉफ्ट आयरन कोर एंड ड्यू टू द कंटिन्यूस चेंज इन द मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स induced dmf is set up across the terminal of load resistance and accordingly the induced current flows in the second coil so we have the two option for the transformer one option is step down transformer in step down transformer the number of turns in the secondary coil is always less than number of turns in primary coil in the case of step up transformer the number of turns in the secondary coil is always greater than number of turns in the primary coil and these vertical line are representing the soft iron core now if you come to the theoretical part for relation between voltage current and number of turns because the number of turns is the deciding factor for stepping up or stepping down the voltage then according to the faraday electromagnetic induction law for primary coil we have ep is equal to minus np d phi by dt equation number 1 similarly for secondary coil we have es is equal to minus ns d phi by dt if you find the ratio means you have to divide equation 1 by 2 ep by es will be np by ns this is equation number because the device basically the transfer the electrical energy and if you assume there is no loss in electrical energy then the power at primary terminal should be equal to the power at secondary terminal so we have ep ip is equal to es i is from this ep by es is equal to is by ip equation number 4 so equation 3 and equation 4 can be equated and because the left side having the same ratio so when we equate equation 3 and 4 we have ep by es is equal to is by ip is equal to np by ns and this ratio is term denoted by capital k capital k is known as transformation ratio and this transformation ratio decide the nature of transformer if k is equal to 1 for example then np or ns will be equal it means transformer neither step up nor step down the voltage now if you come to the type of losses during the transfer of energy for a practical transformer there are many option few copper loss this is due to the resistance of the coil eddy current it is due to the continuous change in the magnetic flux linked with the soft iron and hysteresis loss because the soft iron is continuously magnetized demagnetized so some electrical energy is lost there also and magnetic flux loss is due to the improper coupling of primary and secondary coil so due to these loss we cannot say that the efficiency of transformer will be 100% but if you come to the formula for efficiency of transformer you know 
efficiency is basically the output upon input here this is the output power upon input power that is es is by ep ip but on the account of various losses we have discussed the output power is always less than input power it means the efficiency of the transformer is always less than 1 or you can say that efficiency is always less than 100% but for ideal transformer there should be no loss of electrical energy and if there is no loss of electrical energy then efficiency will be 1 or you can say that efficiency will be 100% but nothing is ideal in the world so the ideal transformer practically not possible and this device is very very useful for the transfer of electrical energy that is the alternating current or alternating voltage from transmit from the production point to the consumption point 